Thank you for joining this lightning talk about image resizing. Hugo is known for its fast page loads. However, if you want to get instantly loading web pages, you also need to resize your images properly. Fortunately, Hugo can resize images by itself. In this talk, I will tell you how you can configure Hugo so that it automatically resizes and compresses all images in your project. First, you need to choose your resize and compression method. I like to keep things simple. Therefore, I always choose the one image technique where you can use an oversized, heavily compressed JPEG image. A typical image like this one is twice to 10 times smaller than its original, while the image tag looks as simple as this. If you want to learn more about this technique, please visit yugocodex.org, a website full of Yugo tips and tricks. Next, you need to set the asset directory. Like I mentioned, Yugo can automatically resize images. It does so during the build process. However, Yugo can only resize images that live in an assigned asset directory. I store all my images in the static folder in my project. So I always define my static folder to be the asset directory. You can do this by adding the following line to your configuration file. Now we can start. Let us assume that your front matter variable looks like this. Your path is stored in your front matter variable, so in .params.image. This could be a featured image you want to use in the header of your website or post. Naturally, you would like to resize this image. To find the appropriate image within the Yugo templating language, we use a Yugo variable called resources. This is spelled without a capital, and that's important because otherwise you would be targeting the page resource. Because we have set the asset there to the static folder, this variable contains everything that lives in your static directory. You can target an individual asset or resource with a get match statement in combination with the path to your image. This looks like this. This code finds your asset or resource. Next, you have to choose an image resize strategy. This can be either resize, fit, fill, or crop. In this example, I use fit to make sure my image is always smaller than 600 pixels on each side. I use smart crop and I use a 50% image quality as explained before in the one image technique. This results into Finally, you probably want to get the relative URL to this image. You can get this by adding .rel permalink and wrapping the whole thing into brackets like this. This code will result in a URL that points to a resized version of the original image. But if your original image does not exist anymore, your code will fail and Yugo will throw an error. Therefore, it is smart to check the existence of your desired resource. Wrap resources.getMatch in an if statement. With this code, we can resize images in our layout. But what about content images? For images in the markdown, you can use a render hook. That is a file that describes or overrides how markdown images are handled. To use this approach in the render hook, you should create the following file. And put this logic inside. Note that we use .destination for the source of the original image and .text for the alt or alternative text defined in the markdown. Once you added the render hook, all images in your Yugo project can and will be resized. 
In this short lightning talk, I've explained how to resize all images in your Yugo project using the one image technique. Not only did we resize layout images, but we also targeted the images in the markdown through a render hook. Resizing all images will result in faster page loads and a better user experience. Thank you for listening. Have a nice conference and happy coding. Bye.